Hello, please. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Mary. This is Glee News Channel. We'll be bringing you the latest update on what is going on in Nigeria. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please click on the red subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell. So, whenever I upload new videos, you'll be updated. Moving on into the news. So, guys, I'm going to be uploading a video of Omoye Leisha Wori. Please I've spent 30 years consistently, historically verifiable time fighting for what is just and what is right and never selling out. I say it with due respect to anybody that you can only sell out if you have a product to sell. And in this case, your conscience. You I'm not available to be bought, so you can't buy me because I have a conscience and a very strong conscience for that matter. But it's not enough to have a conscience. It's not enough to say that you are strong. You must have been tested over these years and you must have been tested and tempted and sometimes suppressed. I have just come out of uh, detention, fresh, after spending almost five months. It will be the tenth time that I have gone through the thing called detention in Nigeria since I was about 22 years old. Would I have accepted a Montepo being a regional police in outfit? set up to protect citizens of the southwest of course yes but i have caveats i would not rush into a support for a quasi uh, security outfit that is promoted by failed politicians to protect their own personal interests at my own position and which was our party position in the 2019 election is that we would even encourage campus police what will happen is that everybody will be free to train at several national police academies owned by the federal government so that the standards are harmonized and they can go back and protect wherever they want so i will support a federal police system but reduce the nigerian police from this gigantic you know, behemoth that is just there for the sake of name and reputation that is not very <laughs> I do not want to glorify the response of the government in power and the so-called opposition PDP, you know, because these political parties are themselves viruses, you know, that are destroying the health of our country, both physically economically and politically socially culturally so it's the pandemic that uh, that i'm talking about so uh let's discuss about the revolutionary process that can take these guys out that can inoculate our political system from their way of thinking because at the end of the day the person holding the broom also has an umbrella that's keeping on the house so when the broom is not working it goes for the umbrella so you're dealing with the same set of people no difference and so i don't glorify their responses with any uh modicum of interest or attention so i'm sorry if that uh, I, I don't even pay attention to what pdp is saying or what apc is saying these guys are just jokers as soon as their loved ones are killed or they become injured or disabled so Again, it comes back to security. So you have soldiers who are either timid, the ones that are not timid, are not motivated enough to fight. And that is why small countries like uh, Chad, Chad for that matter, is able to deal decisive blows on Boko Haram, whereas Nigerian soldiers are clapping for them when they are entering Nigerian territory. So again, or I would say most importantly, it borders on leadership. As I always said, you know, after every pandemic is over, there's a pandemic that doesn't go away, and that is that of leadership. If you have bad leaders, it's the worst pandemic that can happen to any country. It's the worst epidemic that can happen to human beings. Terrible leadership, incompetent leadership, wicked leadership, corrupt leadership. And that is affecting Nigeria. So after COVID-19 is gone, uh, COVID-19 is gone, or COVID-19 or COVID uh, leaves the shores. We still have a pandemic that is not going to go away. It doesn't have any season. It doesn't have, uh, you know, uh, time. It doesn't have a deadline. So, guys, you have heard from Amoye Leshawere. 
one of the very few activists in Nigeria that actually speaks the truth. Like, Nigeria has become something else. Like, you can't even come out to speak the truth because these politicians, they are angry, they are dirty, they don't mind getting their hands dirty. So they are going to do anything to persecute you, put you in prison, put you in jail. But Omoyele has proved to us Nigerians that we can only speak our truth. As far as what we are saying is right, as far as what we are saying is making sense. Nigerian is just a ground for these wicked politicians to use as business ground. Nigeria is no longer a nation anymore. There's nothing like one Nigeria as far as I'm concerned. Like, these politicians use every opportunity to make business. The military that is even supposed to be helping us to fight in security and other related issues, they are busy using nigeria to make money so you see when everybody's agenda is not for the collective people it's just for their own personal reasons this is what happens that is why the economy is like this that's why the nation is like this you give somebody money to do this particular job the person will not do it there's nobody to take account of what the person did with the money the money goes like that that is why we still have bad roads that is that why we still have electricity problems that is why you see all these sectors in the economy failing crumbling it's not because we don't have the resources it's not because we don't have the intelligent minds to do it but because of wickedness and greed especially these people prefer to pack all the money and put it inside their pockets than to even attend to at least one of what they are supposed to do. And when you see somebody that comes out to speak for the truth, they fight the person, they find ways to put the person in pain so that the person will not be able to speak up. That is why you see them chasing after Mazin Namdekano because he will not agree because he is stubborn enough to refuse their wickedness, to refuse their pressure. If you see anybody that speaks up for themselves in this country, then you know that person is facing something that is really, really, really serious. So Nigeria will never be great because these corrupt politicians, their dirty mind, it's, it's like a cycle. When this one leaves, they will be replaced by another one and all that. It's as if the old ones are schooling the new ones on how to steal, on how to loot, on how to be wicked, what to do. Everything in this country. It's just a business avenue. It's a way of making money. All they think about is profit, profit, profit. They are not even thinking about legacy. They are not even planning to make this economy better. They are not even planning to make Nigeria great again. And Nigeria can only be great if our leaders can calm down and do what is right. But that will never happen because of interest, because of tribalism. Because of wickedness still. Because I think it's only a wicked person that does what our Nigerian politician does. See the amount of salaries they are being paid. See the money that is even given to them for allowance. That one is not still enough for them. They still, still look for a way to steal money from poor Nigerians. The average Nigerian is poor. The average Nigerian is poor as far as I'm concerned. Because when you cannot have basic amenities, these are simple things. These are the things that the government should provide for the people. Things like light, electricity and all that. The government cannot provide it. Even in security, the government cannot even give you that. So you, you don't feel safe as a Nigerian. As a Nigerian, you're not safe. You're only looking out for yourselves. And that is how the corruption starts because everybody is looking out for themselves, trying to strive, trying to hustle, trying to cheat this person. That is why we are in this condition. So the best thing is for them to divide Nigeria. Let us give our hand, let us give our try at a new government because if we continue with this government, Nigeria is only heading for doom. Like, even if uh buhari is being replaced he will be replaced with another thief another looter because then the consistency our laws in this country they are supporting them they are aiding them to do this evil that they are doing if we actually have laws that count all these things will not be happening in this country it's as if everybody is above the law well, there's no other solution than division of Nigeria because I don't think even if they change the, uh, some state governors, they do this, they bring out laws, who implement the laws, who, the politicians, they are still there. So we need a new government. We need fresh minds. We need fresh people in this government we need to try, to try in, to stop all this evil, to stop all this looting, to stop all this wickedness. So that is why come 2023, Nigerians should not be thinking about election. They should be thinking of how this country will be divided. 
let us have a like minds and do what is right for the country because one nigeria can never be possible so guys that is it on this news i would love to hear what you think down in the comment section below also don't forget to like subscribe and share this video thank you very much for supporting this channel god will bless you bye